What is going on, YouTube? It is your boy, Sir Jorge Gingray, bringing you a live reaction of the Pokemon Direct that came out this morning. Now, I overslept. I missed it. I missed the live reaction, like the live, live reaction. And so now I'm just doing a post comp because, um, why not? Uh, now I, I, I've tried to miss as many spoilers as possible. Uh, obviously me being in the Pokemon community, I've seen some text, I've seen some images, but overall, I'm just sort of dismissing those so I can get like an, a fuller reaction to the game. Um, very excited because again, we ha we've we only gotten like maybe two like sort of bits of information of the game uh, the fr uh, besides the video that reviewed Grookey, the region, uh, the starters. And so um, very excited. Um, yeah, uh, so I, I again, I, I sort of know what's gonna be happening here. But overall, I, I just don't know what it's gonna, how they're gonna present it. So I'm very excited. If you were to make sure you hit that like button down below, I'm very pumped for this video, guys. And let's get right into it. I love this man. Mm hmm. Awesome. All right, here's the first video, guys. That's of many islands of me. No, hopefully. Ooh. Whoa. Oh, is that a rival? Oh. Yo, what? Oh, that's cute. That's a Diglett cave? What? Oh, there's the professor. Oh! Ah! What are these Pokemon? Oh! I got goosebumps, guys. What were these Pokemon? Oh, they're stuck. Okay. Whoa! What? Dude! Is it Gyarados? Dude, it looks awesome! What in the world? Oh my god. What the... Were the other trainers? Oh, so it's like a boss battle! Whoa, wait. Wait, so is it like a like a like a joint bounce battle? You can That's a huge ass Pokeball. Oh my god. Wait. <laughs> she just yeeted a huge ass ball. Wait, okay, so, oh, we saw this last time. So, are these, like, gyms? Whoa, that's a huge... Boy? Wait. Wait, so that, that's the new mechanic. It's, like, giant Pokemon. Wait. Yo, this music, though, was so pumped. Guys, this, vi this video is four, 15 minutes long. We're four minutes into it. Oh, you don't want to know, man. Uh, dude. That was... Oh, give me tears. I don't know who I'm choosing, guys. I'm not. I'm. I'm not gonna lie. This little Pokemon I give myself. So why not? Stadiums across the gallery are frequently filled with cheering crowds that have gathered to witness battles 
I love the baby face on that man. Is that a Rotom? Like... Yep. We saw like a good handful of them, like five or six of them. I could be wrong. Okay, uh, we saw the, the total Pokemon. I love you, James Turner. These designs are amazing. So that's the Vulture in the b background. There's that fluffy Pokemon we saw, like a Wismacot. Wolo! Wolo! Okay. That's adorable. Okay. Gossifla? Okay. <laughs> Interesting. I love this man. This is joining my team like right away. Oh, I think you said that Pokemon. That's a challenge accepted. This is so intimidating. Flying taxi? Okay, so this is sort of confirmed that HMs are not in the game again. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. So that, that big fluffy Pokemon. Yeah. <laughs> Now I'm pretty sure there's this punch here. It's interesting. Ah, oh, you're breaking my heart. Oh man. Okay, so I are they gonna talk about the um, the big Pokemon that they showed in the in the gym battles in that four co op battle? Meeting lots of Pokemon is one of the thrills of the adventure. And where you will find the widest variety of Pokemon out of anywhere in the Galar region is in a place called the Wild Area. So it's like a free roam. It looks really clean. The Steelix. I love Steelix. Whoa. I didn't even notice that. Yo, I I'm loving this game so much. Mm -hmm. we yeah, yeah, yeah. This phenomenon is called dynamaxing. Dynamaxing opens up new possibilities for heated battles performed by trainers and their Pokemon. What? For more details, I would like to turn it over to Iwong, the planning director for the games. Yeah, we saw the the Mega Raichu. So can any Pokemon become like a the, the Dynamax as they called it? Hi, I'm Iwong. I love you too. So this, this is the new mechanic. That looks so intimidating. So 
So this is like Z moves, but like every single move. Oh, okay. Okay, so is that that broken? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. That's actually really cool. Okay. So it's sort of like the Pokemon Go aspects. No, okay, any Pokemon Dynamax. Oh wow. <laughs> oh my god. The beware. If you and your allies manage to emerge victorious, you get a chance to capture the Pokemon and truly dynamic catch them. That's actually kinda cool. At the Premier Ball. The Dutch Trio. I love you too. Cooperative four player gameplay against a single Pokemon, which is a first for the main series of Pokemon games. It's going to be a ton of fun to use your Nintendo Switch system's local wireless functionality to tackle these battles with friends in person. Interesting. Okay, we saw this homeboy. So I uh, like father and son, like so we saw the professor, somebody else. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna shut up about it. All right. This guy is the greatest trainer in the galaxy, and also the current champion. Okay. His name is Leon. I like Lion. He looks. He looks great. He got. He got them booty shorts. Until we come in. <laughs> there we go. That's what I noticed. I thought it was father and son. Like Bob. I hope you're a great rival. So are those the Rotom phone? Yeah, the Rotom phones. Did you guys know that? Okay. I know only yes. Okay. Sonia is her granddaughter, also serves as her assistant. Is she single? Their abundant wisdom and sacrifice will surely come in handy throughout your adventure. <laughs> What's wrong with me? <laughs> Next, I would like to talk really cool. Pokemon gyms in the gallery. Okay, here we go. Oh, look at that Grookey with a little stick. Better. So, I'm assuming, like, you could actually, like, the way you actually battle affects, like, the, the, uh, the, the, the audience. Yo, I love Milo. Is he sweating on the upwards? Look forward to facing many more heated battles against gym leaders over the course of your adventure. We've shown up quite a bit today. Mm-hmm. But I have one more video I would like you to see. 
Una más? Nene. I love you too. Okay, I, I think I know what this is now, because I saw the teaser of it. it yep. It's a Sogolio! No, I'm kidding. Wait. Okay, so there are... Whoa. Are these locking rocks? The, that looks super dope, though. Yo, okay, I actually like the legendary dogs. The wolves. Ooh. So. Oh. Two. Mm hmm. I said it gave me a while to, to actually remember. I hope you enjoyed today's Pokemon direction. Oh! It's all staged. It's all staged. Please look forward to it. Oh, since I've done yet. <laughs> I love you. I would like to announce the release date. <gasps> oh, damn. Oh, that's like... There we go, okay. There we go. Here's my money. Thank you for watching. Okay. So I'm gonna pause it right here. Holy crap guys. Like I've never been more pumped for a game in like in such a long time simply because like the the whole look of it, the feel of it, the new mechanic even it, it, it. first of all I have one big question. Can we Dynamax an alone eggy? Imagine like it's like like mid battle and you're like Dynamax it and you, you have like this huge ass palm tree <laughs> rising from the ground. But I'm pretty sure there's that there's some balance to it. I'm I'm assuming, but that's that the that's the new mechanic looks great. Like I'm all for it. It, it doesn't look that broken. It, it's like a it's a more, more, it's a harder way to deal with like a Z move now because it is three turns granted. It is three turns, but it's like three Z moves, Z moves back to back to back. And uh, uh, I, you know, as, as I play draft like uh, Pokemon, I'm curious how that's going to affect sort of the, uh, the, uh, the play style. Cause I'm assuming now we can only have a, uh, Dynamax Mon, like we, we're only gonna have access to one, right? And I, I'm, I'm assuming, you know, with Pokemon with a wider move pool, like it, they become like basically huge Z moves. And I, I'm just curious how the, the, the draft league community is gonna react to it, right? Um, now, I haven't talked to anybody about this at all, but um, I'm assuming that's basically what the direction we're gonna be going in is like we get one Dynamax Mon and. Um, Probably no setups on the, on the Dynamax because um, that'd be way too broken to deal with. Because ideally, you get you, you secure three kills in a row when when you go Dynamax. And so like, once your opponent goes on three months, you just Dynamax something, and then um, you sack something, go to Dynamax, and then you sweep from here on there. So then that wouldn't make the game as fun. But I'm curious, like, what sort of conditions you have to be in order to Dynamax. So you saw Grookey, you saw, I'm assuming Salvo and um, Score Bunny. We saw the Quagsire, we saw the Alden Rush. So can any Mon uh, Dynamax or, you know, and like what condition has to be met? Like do they have to be holding an item? Is it an ability? Um, or is it just like any way, any way or where? 
So, um, and notice they did mention that, um, like the the gym ba the gym settings allow for a Dynamax battle. So what I'm assuming was ha is going to be happening is you can only really Dynamax in certain locations, and um, like you, you can't go to like the, the Team Rocket hideout and like Dynamax there and like destroy the entire building. Like conditions do have to be met, and I'm curious like as you know as we get closer to, to the release date, what those conditions are. Now we just see a couple new Pokemon. One that I really did love. I'm gonna go to like immediately. Where's homeboy at? Where where's my homeboy at? I'm looking for my. Oh, there we go. I I honestly, one of my favorite Pokemon that they. This is my favorite Pokemon they released the entire video. It it looks so great. Um, looking at its design, um, I can see it being a rock type Pokemon. Um, I could see it being a dark type, or uh, dark rock even, um, it being called the bite Pokemon, I, I, I'm curious how they go with the design, I notice that it has that big horn in the front, so maybe that, that, that comes into play when it, be, when it evolves, um, and like, the name Dread is like, you know, Dready and then Nine, so I'm curious how they implement its evolution line, um, it looks like it's a more of a bulky Pokemon, uh, again, I, I'm looking Sort of in the, the draft aspect, but also in my in my uh, enjoyment. Obviously, I love this mod. I'm really hoping it, it joins us uh, in my in my let's play. And now that I have a switch, you know, and if you want to add me, uh, my friend code would be down below. Um, Cause I need more friends. Um, I'm definitely gonna be investing in an Elgato like S whatever, so like I, I can actually record my gameplay of it because I wanna I wanna upload that as well. But um. Yeah, this looks super cool. Um, uh, like overall, the bombs that they re released look really cool. I was actually in the impression that um, where where's it at? Uh, I I loved, I love the sheep Pokemon, uh, uh, Flufu, or Fuflu, something like that. And then um, there we go. What was, what was this this Pokemon's name? It's like a Gullifleur, Gossifleur, Gossifleur. Um. Again, these are very interesting names that they're choosing for these mods, especially the legendary trio. But um, I thought this was going to be like a fire type because of the red hair. But um, seeing it evolve into that sort of Whimsicott esque Pokemon, uh, it looks great. Um, so it looks like it's early stage Pokemon, um, obviously grass type Pokemon. Um, I, I think this this line just should just remain pure grass in my opinion. Um, and then obviously we, we got that 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 flu Pokemon. Uh, Normal, normal type could would love to see it to become a normal steel uh, when it evolves. Maybe it's it's um so this is like the like the uh, I'm assuming like the Rattata that the the basic early uh, normal type Pokemon, but um you know uh, I would love to see it like have its wool hardened just in defense of like people who are nitpicking its wool. Um, but yeah, and then finally we got that very intimidating uh, crow Pokemon or uh, what's it called? I don't, I don't remember. This, honestly, when I saw this, I was, I had to, like, back away. I was like, oh, my God. This is super intimidating. Um, like, but it, it, it's, it's the Escort Pokemon, which is super cool. Um, again, just super excited for, for this game to come out. And, um, I, I, I think it's going to be probably the best Pokemon game. That is right. Sir Jorge D. Gray on July, June 5th, 2019. I, I, I'm going to say this is probably one of my most favorite games in Pokemon history simply because the overall size of the region like guys like if you guys this is a like pretty, pretty much a free roaming game oh, I'm looking for it like look look at this landscape right and we get to explore all of this and this is just one of the regions right this is just one of the areas that we have to explore like this is gonna be crazy guys like I'm again and it's looking like it's you're gonna have access to almost every single Pokemon. Now, obviously, we won't have access to a lone executor. He won't be popping up in the wild, but you never know. Like they may have like a connection to Alola, and like they'll have like the Alola forms roaming around in that area. I'm really hoping I get to have an alone executor in my let's play. I'm really hoping because you know I love I love the Mon. Obviously, if you guys can tell by my my, my channel art, uh, the way I, I always like outro my videos. Like, I'm really hoping I get to have a lone executor with me. But if not, 
Um, I think Dreadnought could be a good companion for me. Anyways, um, yeah, I, 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 again, super pumped. I also want to point out this interesting shrine that they had. Where is it at? I might have skipped it already. Let's see. I'm looking for it. Nope. Give me a second. Okay. I'm looking for it, guys. Give me a second. Alright. Okay, also, I thought I saw a Pokemon. Oh, no. That's just stem. Stem guy. Okay, that was also a gym we saw in the background, guys. Just to point that out. That was a gym in the bus station. Um, I now I shouldn't be dissecting it, like, right here, right now. Because it's a live reaction. But this is really what I want to do. Is look in, in the video, see if we get any, like, Easter eggs. Um, this building over here like in this frame alone like i saw this and i was like okay well because like the the reason uh obviously based off of the uk um i watched duck and can't die and you know he said he said uh, that uh intel information so i'm curious what he has to say about this nope that wasn't it then also uh, the, the rival i'm really hoping the rival i was gonna say this like in the video i'm really hoping the rival isn't that crappy at all because you know He's very ambitious because his brother is the champion, and he wants to top his brother. So maybe what they could do is like sort of make him the bad guy, uh, which would be sort of interesting, right? We never really had, had a rival that goes bad, but now he, like the rival actually has a pretty good motive to become champion, and maybe he wants to do anything to become the champion, and even shining with the dark side might be his way in. Um, so that might be an option for him, but um, looking for that shrine that we saw. If I don't find it, I'm gonna be big sad. Yeah, I don't, th I, I don't think I can find it, guys. But there was a, that that Diglett shrine that looks super funny, uh, just like Executor Island in Ultra Sun and Moon, my home, my people. But yeah, guys, um, I I don't think there's too much I want to talk about anymore. Like this was 60 min 60 minutes of like pure video, like again, like overall, like oh my gosh, I'm very excited, guys. Like, you have no idea. Alright, guys. Uh, I think I'm going to end this video here. Uh, I, I don't want to make this too long of a video because, again, um, I don't want to bore you guys to death. So, if you guys did enjoy the video, make sure you hit that like button down below. Subscribe if you are new around here. Uh, comment down below your thoughts and opinions of the this Direct. I, I, I Again, I, I loved it. I, I loved every single piece of information. Um... I think the most challenging bit for me is going to be memorizing these names, but that's always true for any region I, I, uh, that's, that, that comes out. Uh, I, before I go, I just want to point out the interesting names they gave the... Uh, where are they at? Those beautiful... Those beautiful... There we go. Um, like the... Um, the uh, the wolf Pokemon. They look super interesting. But yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get the hell out of here, guys. Um, again, you know guys know me at Surfer Degrade. Make sure you're putting the word of a little eggy, and I will catch you guys next time. Bye bye.